Josh Howard was back in his hometown of Winston-Salem this summer for his biggest celebrity week ever. Thinking back and, and thinking of some people that took the time out to help me get to this point, you know, I always think about them and thank, thank them for what they've done for me, you know, so to be able to do this for a bunch of the kids in this city, in this area, you know, it's always going to be a great feeling, you know. Things kicked off with the staple of the week's activities, which is the free basketball camp. Always a huge hit for boys and girls. Well, the boys think they're better than girls, but we try to prove it to them that they're not. Some girls can be proved wrong, but some girls can't. It's nice. Um, you learn about, I like it because you know, it's, it's, just like, it's not just basketball, it's like attitude and like sportsmanship and stuff like that, so I like it. There was a couple of new additions this year, a workout camp at Josh's old home at Glenn High School led by his old college teammate, Tony Rutland. Went out to Utah, see a game, uh, came out there, you know, we just uh, shot the breeze, talked about old good, good times, and um, talked about, you know, his future as far as uh, his foundation and, and working at camp. So, you know, um, whenever I was able to get on board, I, I was definitely going to jump on board. Work, work. Um, it's going to be one or two kids that are, will listen and, and take that to the next step. Um, they have to understand that somebody's working 10 times as hard as you, and if you're not willing to work hard, they're going to surpass you and, and, and become a better player. So if they can take that, one player can take that and work 10 times as hard as they have been, then we have achieved our goal. The camp brought new meaning to the idea of homecoming. A couple of trophies in there that I helped bring to the school. I was, uh, Kind of amazing, you know, my first time back since I graduated, you know, so to see some of these things that I did here and other people, you know, it's, it's kind of gratifying. Just as impressive as the moves on the court was the move to expand Celebrity Week away from the court. This year, a new initiative with the Young Ladies Empowerment Conference. When Cheryl Lindsay came to me and offered the opportunity to be a sponsor for this event, we, we were very excited to participate because it's helping young women, young girls, empowering them to be better. And as they become better individuals, you know, become more engaged and, and more um, in tune with who they are, then they can become better leaders in the community, better citizens in the community, so we just think it's a win-win. Three days of positive and uplifting girl talk. Encouraging our, our young women to love themselves in spite of uh, what other people may try to put off on them, overcome. I'm going to speak about uh, overcoming obstacles and things in your past that sometimes we can try to use as a hindrance to push forward and just use those situations to just empower yourself. I enjoyed it because it was like really relaxed and not like they're regular people and it's like just really relaxing. And it all ends with a lot of fun with the Celebrity Flag Football Game. Well first I'm looking forward to getting a good win, uh, second stay injury free, and third for the fans to have a good time and uh, enjoy you know what I brought to the city of Winston-Salem. A great day for the community, capping off a great week. This is the fun, you know what, let me back up and say all week has been the fun part. This is the ending, this is kind of like the celebration, but all week has been an extremely uh, amazing time. It shows that the celebrities who have come through this community are, are giving back to this community. That's beautiful. And the kids need to see that. The little kids need to be a part. The little kids need to touch them because the little kids want to emulate them. And it really gives kids an idea that if they work hard enough, then they can achieve the same kind of thing that guys like Josh Howard have achieved. A lot of people forget, you know, he's a former ACC player of the year, uh, first round draft pick, NBA All-Star, played in the NBA Finals. And a lot of people forget all that because he's just a humble, down-to-earth dude. You know, every time you see Josh, they say, yo, what's up, bro? It's all love, it's all win on that. People respect that because, you know, he's just a genuine good dude. And for the record, another win for Team Howard. But in the end, we're all winners. And we'll see you again next summer.